So, hello everyone. So, ngayon ay gagawin naman natin yung pagkuha ng prime factors ng mga numbers using factor tree. So, ang uh, multiplication table ay isa sa mahalagang um, tool na kailangan malaman or magamit ng mga math students. And today, we're going to be using our mastery sa multiplication table para mas maunawaan at maintindihan natin yung mga concept natin sa higher mathematics tulad ng algebra, calculus, trigonometry, which requires factoring at dito nag-uumpisa yan sa pag-alam kung ano yung difference ng composite at saka ng prime numbers. So, kung titignan natin at hahanapin natin yung mga composite numbers between 1 and 12, ang ating mga composite numbers dito would be 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12. And the reasons why they are considered composite numbers ay dahil ang mga factors ng mga numbers na yan ay two or more sets. For example, yung 4, two sets ang pairs of factors niya, 1, is yung 4 times 1, and the second set would be 2 times 2. So, yung 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12, meron silang pare-parehas or common characteristic, which is yung kanilang factors would be 2 or more sets of factors. Now, yung prime numbers naman, kung titignan natin yung ating numbers from 1 through 12, at kukuha tayo ng prime numbers between that number, some of you would probably think na magsa-start kayo sa 1 and 1 is the smallest prime number. Pero ang smallest prime number natin from 1 up until 12 will be 2. So 2 is our smallest prime number at prime number sila dahil ang factors ng mga number niyan ay isang set lang which is yung number itself at saka yung 1. So hindi nyo na mahihiwalay or mapafactor out yung 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11 dahil sila ay mga prime numbers whose factor is the number itself and and 1. Now, paano naman si 1? So, siya ba ay composite at also prime numbers? Well, ang 1 ay special case dahil ang 1 ay neither prime number nor composite number. So, nag-iisa lang ang ating special case na yan dahil si 1, pag pinactor nga naman natin si 1, ano ba mga factors ni 1? 1 and 1, and then pwede din na 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is different from the definition of a composite number and a prime number. Now, kunin naman natin yung prime factorization ng mga numbers na meron tayo dito, which is 24 and 12. So, starting with 24, kung ipa-factor out natin siya or pipili tayo ng dalawang factors ng 24, it would be 12 and 2. It could also be 6 and 4 or it could also be... Uh, 3 and 8. So, marami pa tayong factors 24 and 1. So, on 24, marami tayong set of factors na pwedeng piliin, pero ang pipiliin ko is 12 and 2. So, sa 12 and 2, mapapansin nyo, si 2 is prime number, so hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-break apart, pero yung 12, pwede pa natin siyang uh, i-break down into two factors of 3 and 4. At since ang 3 ay prime numbers at ang 4 ay composite numbers, i-break down pa natin si 4 into factors of 2 and 2. At ang mapapansin nyo, meron na tayong 3, 2, 2, and 2 as our prime numbers. At yan yung tinatawag natin na prime factors or prime factorization na ginagamit natin sa mathematics. So, ang prime factors ng 24 would be 3, 2, 2, and 2. Now, kung sa 12 naman tayo, magsa-start tayo sa 12, marami din tayong set of factors na pwedeng, pag, pwedeng pagpilian, pero pinili ko si 6 and 2. Now, si 2 ay prime number, so hindi na natin siya i-break down, but yung 6, pwede pa natin siyang paghiwalayin into factors of 2 times 3. And by this time, hindi na natin kailangan i-break down yung mga numbers dahil yung ating mga endpoints ay lahat ay prime numbers na. So, ang prime factors ng 12 ay 3, 2, and 2. So, yan yung prime factorization na tinatawag at ang ginawa, ginawa natin ngayon is yung factor tree. Now, saan naman natin gagamitin yung mga prime factors? Bibigyan ko kayo ng mga sample problems na kung saan gagamitin natin yung mga prime factors ng isang number to be able to answer certain math problems like this. Let's find the sum of the prime factors of 100. So, syempre, kukunin muna natin yung prime factors ng 100 and then after nun, kukunin natin yung sum niya which means i-add natin yung mga prime factors na mahahanap natin afterwards. So, sa 100, 
Kung ibe-breakdown ko siya, pwede siyang 50 times 2 or pwede din 25 and 4. So si 25 ay hindi prime at si 4 ay also hindi prime. So i-break natin si 25 and 2, 5 and 5. At si 4 naman ay 2 and 2. Now meron na tayong mga prime numbers na 5, 5, 2, 2. At yung mga prime factors na yan ang ia-add natin para ma-solve natin yung ating problem. So the sum of the prime factors of 100 would be 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 14. So yan yung sagot dito sa ating problem, uh, dito sa um, finding the sum of a prime number. So saan pa natin siya pwedeng gamitin? Pwedeng gamitin yan sa fractions. So kung alam niyo yung multiplication table niyo at na-master niyo na yung mga prime factorization, Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions would be a lot easier. And ito yung isa sa pamamaraan kung paano mag-simplify ng fractions. Factor natin si 30 using its prime factors. At ang prime factorization ng 30 would be, naisip ko, is 15 times 2. 15 is not prime dahil 15 is 5 and 3. So ang prime factors ng 30 would be 5, 3, and 2. Yung 75 naman na iisip ko is 25 times 3. At ang 25 by 5 and 5. So ang prime factors ng 75 by 5, 5, 3. So kapag na-master nyo na yung multiplication table, mas matututunan nyo na yung mental math at makakatulong yun sa inyo para mas maunawaan yung mga number problems that you will be dealing with in the future. So ngayon alam na natin yung prime factors factors niya, ibig sabihin si 30 ay equal sa 5 times 3 times 2 at si 75 ay equal to 5 times 5 and 3. So, i -re rewrite natin si ating fraction into its prime factorization at dito, ika-cancel natin yung common term sa numerator at denominator dahil pag magkaparehas yung numerator at denominator, it's equal to 1. So, ang una nating pairs of 1 would be 5 and 5 and 3 and 3. At yung mga natitira, yun yung simplest form ng inyong fraction, which is 2 over 5. And if you're going to be using your calculator, at i-divide nyo si 30 divided by 75, it will be the same as dividing 2 all over 5. So yan yung pag-simplify ng fraction using prime factorization. And another thing that you can use uh, prime factorization technique is on multiplying fractions. So tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, hindi natin multiply si 9 and 10 and 25 and 12 and then we'll simplify it afterwards. What we're going to be doing is simultaneously factor and multiply two fractions at the same time. And how are we going to do this? Kulin natin yung prime factors ni 9. Ang um, prime factors ni 9 ay 3 and 3. Ang um, prime factors ni 25 ay 5 and 5. Ang um, prime factors naman ni 10 do sa second fraction would be 5 times 2. At notice na medyo madali yung numbers na yan dahil lahat sila prime numbers agad yung nakuha natin factors. At yung 12 would be 4 and 3, pero ang 4 ay hindi pa prime number, so 4 would be 2 and 2. So ang um, prime factors ni 12 would be 3, 2, and 2. And then, i re rewrite natin yung ating fraction into its prime factors at ito na yung bagong itsura ng ating 9 over 25 and 10 all over 12. And we did this dahil we're simultaneously factoring and multiplying numbers or fractions at the same time. So tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, cancel natin yung mga common terms. So the first pair of ones I have would be 3 and 3, 5 and 5, and then 2 and 2. At yung natitira, Pansin nyo na hindi na natin makakancel si 3 sa taas at yung 5 and 2 sa baba. So ang gagawin na lang natin dyan is multiply out na natin yung mga numbers niyan dahil lahat sila ay prime numbers na. So 3 times 1 would be 3 and 5 times 2 is 10. At yan yung kahalagahan sa pag prime factor or paggamit ng prime factorization sa pag-sagot ng mga math problems tulad nito.